Hi friends, uh, this is Dr. Chinmay Survey. Today I'll be talking about the Wuhan virus and the myths being circulated on around social media, WhatsApp, Facebook and all other platforms. I'll be talking about seven myths today. Uh, so myth one, uh, which has been talked about a lot in media, this is regarding the antiviral combination drugs working on in patients and treating coronavirus. I wanted to clarify that I would be the happiest person on earth as a scientist if we can find a drug combination or uh, individual drug which can treat the Wuhan coronavirus. However, there is a problem with this myth. Uh, the myth says that any combination of uh, any different combinations of antiviral, antimalarial, anti-HIV and any other antiviral kills corona Wuhan virus. There are many reports using this combination and here is why it's a myth. If the combination does work, why are patients still dying? This is a question you should ask the doctors who are posting on news agencies and online saying that they have used a certain viral combination and it has worked in clinic and it has treated a patient. There is a reason for this. This antiviral combination may only work in patients who have a healthy immune system when you give an antiviral drug, you induce immune reaction to the system, which leads to targeting any and all bacteria and viruses in your body. So this is how the antiviral works. It boosts your immunity, which kills the virus and doesn't necessarily work directly on the Wuhan coronavirus. And uh, this is important that uh, because it only works in patients who already have a good immune system, not in patients who have immunocompromised systems. So there is no known direct killer of the virus or we would be using it in the world and we would have no deaths. Myth 2. Hot water gargle kills Corona, Wuhan coronavirus. Again, uh, I have previously published a video that high temperatures, 30 to 40 degrees, the virus survive a lot shorter period of time. So if you think about it logically, hot water should do the same. However, this is myth because the amount of exposure of the hot water goggle to the virus is very limited. And due to this limited exposure, the virus may not get killed. If you do goggles and you are able to kill the virus, you are one of the extremely lucky few ones. I would call it a chance of killing the virus one in a million. Let's get to myth number three. Steam facial or nas nasal inhalation of steam kills coronavirus. Again, it goes back to the 30 to 40 degrees Celsius high temperature killing the virus. Exposure again plays an important role and this steam facial and nasal inhalation may be useful to remove viruses which were recently stuck to your face. So you recently got infected within a couple of hours and you use the nasal inhalation and steam facial. You may be able to remove the virus after using soap and water and uh, may not be useful for earlier infection. Be why do we need soap and water is the viral has a fat layer which is what it attaches uh, to a skin by. So if you use water, water cannot remove the virus alone. You need soap to create a barrier between your skin and the lipid layer of the, of the virus particle. Lipid is fat layer of the virus or fat covering of the virus. So that's why even if you use steam facial and nasal inhalation, the amount of time is important. And beyond that, if you want to remove it from your face, soap water is important for its removal. Also steam may cause glandular secretion from your face. So to be frank, this may work, but again, you have to be really lucky that you have only been recently exposed to the virus and not been previously exposed because earlier infections won't be affected by this. Myth number four, ginger and turmeric in hot water or milk uh, kill coronavirus or cure coronavirus. Ayurveda mentions ginger, garlic and turmeric have immune boosting properties. Uh, this again goes back to myth number one where a combination of antiviral therapeutics have been shown to be beneficial for patients. Similarly, ginger, turmeric and hot water or milk may be beneficial. There are a couple of research articles which mention the use of ginger in inducing an immune response to attack the influenza viruses. Similarly, there is one more paper. Similarly, there's one more paper which shows that turmeric and ginger can help 
boost the immune system uh, by uh, by attracting the immune cells to attack foreign particles here is the paper so most of the severe infections occur in patient with inherent condition or age where immune system in, is compromised looking at this data this ginger turmeric and garlic in hot water or milk can help fight the virus in patients who have a good immune system but not otherwise and this is not a cure so let's get to myth number six doctor from china the hero doctor dr li wen yang who was the one who was the first whistleblower recommending tea as a cure because it has certain chemicals methyl xanthine theobromine and theophyllin firstly the hero doctor was an ophthalmologist which means that he, uh, and he never posted this message so it's a completely fake message scientific evidence that tea or any of these compounds have any beneficial effects against the wuhan coronavirus and the last myth myth number seven can copper kill the virus this myth is absolutely true there has been a research paper which was published in new england journal of medicine which says the survival time of the wuhan coronavirus on copper is only four hours compared to all other surfaces which they tested and it looks like copper can prevent viral growth on its surface so this myth is true copper can prevent the growth of viruses so if you like this video please do like share and subscribe to scientist vlogs uh, this is dr chinmay survey signing off thank you